Have you ever found yourself drowning in a sea of qualitative data from your UX research, struggling to make sense of all of the information you've just gathered? If so, you're not alone. Fortunately, there is a solution. Affinity Mapping is here to save the day and your sanity. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to UX Tweaks channel. Are you ready to take your research skills to the next level? In this video, we're talking about affinity mapping. What is this technique and how can it help you with organizing qualitative data from your research? From defining what affinity mapping actually means to uncovering its potential, we'll give you the lowdown on everything you need to know. So get ready to become an affinity mapping expert in no time. First, let's define affinity mapping. Affinity mapping is a technique that helps you organize a large number of ideas or information into related groups. It's commonly used in brainstorming sessions or when analyzing feedback. This technique starts with gathering ideas from a group of people, which you then write down, for example, on sticky notes. Then you group the notes into related groups. This makes it incredibly easy to identify patterns and themes, which can greatly help with decisions and problem solving. UX research can be a complex process with a multitude of tools and methods to use and you often end up with many different sources of feedback. You may have conducted a survey, observed behavior during session recordings or usability testing. Another source of feedback can be user interviews or even your support center where users come with issues they experienced. All this feedback and especially qualitative feedback can be quite hard to analyze. Affinity mapping can help you easily synthesize all these different streams of user feedback and organize your UX research. Let's go through the affinity mapping process step by step. The first thing you need to do is gather your research data. Collect all of the data you have, such as notes, interview transcripts, survey responses, and observations. If you are part of a UX research team, make sure all teammates contribute to this process to gather as much information as possible. Grab some sticky notes and write down all the data you've gathered. Make sure to write only one piece of information per sticky note to make sure you can categorize each piece of information. Don't worry about grouping them yet. Just lay out the notes on a table so everyone can read them. Once you've created your notes, the next step is to start grouping them into categories. Look for common themes, patterns, or ideas that emerge from the data. For example, group all the responses that mention a particular feature or a user pain point. Create headers. After categorizing your notes, create names for each group of notes. These names should be descriptive and capture the essence of the notes within each category. Finally, you have the notes sorted into concrete groups and it's time to look for patterns and insights that emerge. Create a summary of your research findings and propose actionable next steps to optimize the product or service you researched. And that's it. The process is quite easy, isn't it? If you want to make it even easier and ditch the sticky notes, you can use an online card sorting tool. A card sorting tool serves the exact same functionality as sticky notes and allows you to sort individual cards into groups. With its help, affinity mapping can be done online and you can get multiple people to categorize the information on your own. For example, your research colleagues. They all might organize the research notes differently. Then you can analyze the multiple groupings using tool analytics and explore the relationships with the visual data representation, such as a similarity matrix. UX Tweak offers a card sorting tool, so if you want, you can create an account for free. Try it out. Just click on the link in the description and get started. Like and subscribe if you're interested in more UX related videos, and see you next time.